Hey everyone, it's Mac, and in this video, we will create this vector poster design using text masking in Adobe Illustrator. So let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator with a standard artboard that I'll be working on. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add a model image for our poster design. Copy and paste any suitable image into Illustrator and scale it properly on the artboard as you like. You can download any image from stock website for your project. Adjust and scale it up quite a bit focusing on the model's face to enhance visual impact of the poster. Now select the Rectangle tool and create a large rectangle equal to the artboard. For the styling of this rectangle, I'm going to apply this blue color which I've selected according to my model image, so you must use a color that suits your image. Now select this rectangle, go to the Windows menu and open Transparency panel from there. Now change the blending mode of this rectangle from Normal to Overlay. So you can see that the image is now converted to a blue tone effect. Now once more select the rectangle tool and create another rectangle just like the previous one. Change its color to white from the color picker. Now decrease its width, ensuring that it still covers slightly more than half of the artboard's area, spanning approximately 60 to 70%. So now we can write the headline for our poster design. Zoom in and with the type tool selected, write the main headline for your poster. Use a decent tall typeface which is going to be high man in my case. Change the paragraph alignment to write for this text, then bring it on top of your design. Now increase its size quite a bit and cover a significant portion on this white rectangle. Keep increasing the font size until a desired result is obtained. Now adjust its position and then from the characters panel, set the letting to a suitable value according to your selected typeface. Now make sure to make final adjustments, and once you are satisfied, right-click on this text and create outlines. So now we can use this text to create a masking effect for our design. Select this outline text and the white rectangle. Go to Windows menu and open the Pathfinder panel. Now click on this symbol which says, minus front. So here is the text mask effect for our poster design. Now zoom in on the rectangle and create a small horizontal line using the Rectangle tool. Change its color to black from the color picker, and then zoom out to see if the line is looking fine. Adjust its position and I'm noticing that the line is too thick, so I can zoom in and slightly decrease the height of this line. So the line is looking nice, and it's time to add some text below this headline. With the text tool selected, write a suitable brief paragraph for your poster design. Use a decent typeface like Roboto, and create a copy of this text for later use. Now adjust the size of this secondary text to make it small, and then from the color picker, select a nice gray tone for this text, ensuring that it's not too dark. Now zoom out to see if things are in line, and slightly adjust its position below the horizontal line. Now edit this second paragraph text, and write some other information. Zoom in on this text, and slightly increase the font weight to medium. Zoom out to see the adjustment of this text. So once the adjustment is done, we can add more information on the right side. With the Rectangle tool selected, create a small horizontal shape like this. Change its color to white from the color picker. Now create a copy of this text, then right-click and bring it to front. Now you can edit this text and write something helpful for the viewer. Place this text inside this white rectangle, and then increase the font weight of some part of this text to make it prominent. Slightly adjust the rectangle shape if the text is too close to the edges. Now adjust the font size of this text and place it vertically in the center. Zoom out to see if things are in line and make some final adjustments to this rectangle. Also, ensure to set the paragraph alignment to left for this text. So once everything is adjusted, create a copy of this rectangle and edit the text. Similarly, create another copy and complete the necessary information. Adjust the spacing among these rectangles, and zoom out to see the result. Now before ending our design, we can add our logo here at the bottom side. Copy and paste your logo into Illustrator, and align it to the right side of the text above. Place it at the very bottom side, and also adjust the size. So the design is finally complete, and now we can select the Rectangle tool, and we can create a rectangle equal to the artboard. Now select everything on the canvas, right-click and make clipping mask. So here is the final design, 
and this is how you can create a vector poster design using text masking in Adobe Illustrator. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more similar content, and I'll see you in the next one.